After a sub-zero start, temperatures are dramatically warmer as we went throughout the course of the day and it's still rising in some cases. Uh, we also got rid of the sub-zero wind chills as well. Early this morning down to about 4. As you head into this evening, up to 35. So that's a 30 degree swing over the course of the day. And we'll stay a lot closer to these values, at least for the next couple days this week. We're oh, hovering just above freezing across the state line currently. And overnight, looking at 28 coming for the overnight low, which is a little closer to where we are usually for our average daytime high temperature. So it's been a little while since we've been above average. We'll look for a mainly cloudy sky with the breezy winds settling down late overnight. Looking ahead towards tomorrow, temperatures back into the mid 30s like we saw today, a mainly cloudy sky overhead, and there is a slight chance for some isolated rain and snow showers. So we're above freezing enough that we have to talk about a wintry mix rather than straight snow. And this is the start of potentially an active pattern throughout the course of the week. Uh, not necessarily a slam dunk every day, but still rain and snow possible going into late tomorrow morning and afternoon. Then light snow possible Thursday morning, followed by yet another possibility uh, for some acute Accumulating snow, so this system could be a little stronger going into Friday evening. So for the next three days, milder weather, but as you can see, chances for some active conditions. And it's all part of a pretty active weather pattern. All right, now the jet stream's kind of aimed right over top of us. So that's going to help direct these a little areas of low pressure right through our area going into the rest of this week. Uh, so that's why the weather pattern's getting just a little more active. We have the storm track right overhead for us. Now tomorrow's weather system still off to our north. You can see a couple areas a low pressure and a cold front that swings through going into tomorrow afternoon. Here's future track and we stay pretty quiet with increasing clouds going into tomorrow morning. Then late in the morning, early afternoon, you can see most of this weather system bringing some light snow to Wisconsin over the course of the morning hours. We get a little closer towards the afternoon for us and that's when we may see a very light rain snow mix. We're not going to pick up a ton of accumulation, but uh, still there could be just enough out there to cause some wet roads or some slick spots in a few cases. We go into the later half of tomorrow afternoon and the weather dries out. Then for Thursday morning, another weak weather system could bring in a dusting of snow early Thursday. You can see this arrives around sunrise, sticks around for a couple hours, and then exits pretty quickly by 10 a.m. Should see an inch or less out of this, but that's something to still keep an eye on later this week. And then again, Friday evening, possibility of accumulating snow across the state line. Once we get into the weekend, the weather dries out, yet it turns colder. 20s in the forecast coming at the end of the week. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we do see temperatures starting to warm up briefly and then dropping again, maybe back down into the teens by the end of next week, Brittany. At least we get this slight warm up while we have it. Alex, thanks for that.